guys and welcome back to my channel so we are here to talk some shit <laughs> we're here to gossip once again because something's gone on in this world and i just feel like i need to talk about it i have a platform i want to use my platform for good once in a while you know i just feel like this is crazy to me because i've hardly seen videos made about this i've seen videos about people's experience working at brandy melville and how they weren't treated with respect um but i didn't see people talk about the lack of diversity first of all and the fact that they don't care about any other body type besides the one that they consider as beautiful so i thought you know what let's talk let's gossip let's chat some crap because y'all know you're doing a group chat anyways <laughs> before we get started make sure you guys follow me on my instagram i put it on the screen for you guys people always get like really shocked when i reply but why like i'm honestly just like you like i don't see myself as an influencer i don't see myself as a celebrity mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm. no 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 sweetie no also stream my song pablo i dropped a song oh my god was it a week ago eh. i'll leave all the links down below in the description also i can't talk like it's way too early for me to be up right now but you know what we move okay let's get started okay i'm gonna first off start by talking about this one size fits all strategy that i just completely hate like oh mm, don't piss me off like i'm actually really pissed right now like, come on really one size fits all do you know how disrespectful that is one size fits all i'm sorry but we don't all look like that brandy melville's standards of beauty is someone who's tall someone who has like an amazing figure someone who's skinny someone who's super lean flat stomach preferably someone with blonde hair just basically the model type right and that blows my mind because what the hell we don't all look like that like come on there's billions of people in this world we do not all look like that I'm not saying that if you do you're ugly or I'm, I'm being mean or like, you know, I'm not doing that. That's just not me. I'm not here to like bash people It is what it is at the end of the day, but I just wish we could do better I was watching a bunch of videos online on YouTube like people saying their experience working with Brandy Melville and What they've noticed and in a bunch of the videos Why does everybody look the same and that might sound like I'm being shady, but maybe I am a tiny bit Just a tiny bit, but like why does everyone look the same? You can't even differentiate two people from each other The only difference is one of them might have brown eyes one of them might have green eyes There is absolutely no difference between them what is so bait what they're doing and it blows my mind i keep saying blows my mind because it does honestly blow my mind it honestly leaves me gobsmacked because come on really really this is the company that you guys are giving your coins to i know some of you guys watching are still going to give your coins to this company because you think their clothes are cute and trendy and quirky and tumblr or whatever do what you want to do at the end of the day i'm not making this video to tell you or to control you know what you do in your own spare time who you give the money to but i'm only advising you to think wisely this company clearly clearly does not cater to every single race every single body type and if that's what you're into then girl finito Adios. We don't want you here. Mm -mm. That's not what my channel is about. My channel is about embracing all and making sure everybody feels confident to say how they feel. And I'm doing that right now. I will not be purchasing ever from Brandy Melville. Not that I did in the first place. I never have never given them the coins. I've always been more into urban outfitters because you can clearly see on their website they cater to the different sizes. They have like other races there besides just like white people. You know, one size fits all. Really? In what century? Like they, it's like they only care about the size four, the size six, because that's what they see as beautiful. So if someone's watching this right now with black hair, brown hair, you know, darker skin, they can't, they can't work at Brandy Melville, let alone model for Brandy, Brandy Melville. They're not like seen as beautiful. It's trash. That's honestly so trash. I'm sorry if I'm going off right now, but like, I'm saying what needs to be said. You can't have this strategy of one size fits all and you want to be the most successful brand. No, the most successful brands out there, the most successful companies make sure they cater to every single race, every single body type, okay? And I'm gonna specifically talk about body type and race because obviously when you have your own store, when you have your own business, the face of your business is very important as well as what you have to offer. When I go on the Brandy Melville website, of course the items look really cute. Some of them are up my alley. Some of them I wish I could buy. I can, because I can afford it but i just don't want to out of choice okay there's a difference why does everyone look the same where is the diversity do you honestly think that what you're doing is great i think a lot of this just comes down to ignorance and to them blatantly being racist now i know it's like a big statement to make but come on you've been in business for god knows how long you know that by now at least at least at least you should have some sort of you know knowledge that come on everybody looks the same the reason why i'm making this video is because i have a lot of you know mixed race people watching me a bunch of latinas even 
a bunch of black people watching me and it's just like come on when you find something that you feel like you can't relate to that sucks it's the worst thing ever and i've i've been through that we all had that phase where we wish you know we wish something could work for our skin tone we wish something could work for us and most times if you maneuver around it and you make it work then great but for other people people just end up like giving up like it's really common for people to give up so i wouldn't like it if like a black girl felt like she couldn't walk into Brandy Melville without being laughed at, without being stared at constantly, without feeling like, okay, this shop isn't for me because a bunch of the models on screen or a bunch of the models that they're seeing looks nothing like them. What the hell? Like, I'm sorry, what? Bitch, what? What do you mean? And when I was watching a bunch of these videos online, a lot of them were talking about like what they do in their day. And I was thinking, okay, let me watch like a behind the scenes of what people actually do. You would think, okay, it's a job, right? You work behind the cashier, you assist people. Because working in retail can be stressful. I haven't actually done it, but I've done two weeks of work experience at Clark's. Worst mistake ever. Obviously, if you have to do it, then you have to do it. You know, I'm not here to bash people who work a nine to five, who work in retail, no. You would think these girls are like actually working because the title of the videos is working at Brandy Millville, what it's actually like working at Brandy. And I'm just thinking, okay, yeah, it's probably like you talking to customers. Like, to be fair, I didn't even know these girls got jobs like that. Like, I'm not even trying to be shady, but you learn something new every day. And then it turns out their job or them working is just them judging other girls walking into stores, them just constantly like taking pictures behind the till, just wearing a bunch of clothes, changing a million times a day. If I could have that job, do you think I would take that? Yes. Don't get me wrong, am I jealous? No. Do I have better things to be worrying about? Yes, but I'm making this video to encourage you that like, some of you guys need to stop begging it. <laughs> some of us need to like, stop being mad and just realize that if someone is not gonna change, you can't make them. Like that's one thing that I'm starting to realize. I really don't see it changing. I don't okay, see it Okay, so Brandy Melville has been in business for 10 years now, okay? So you're telling me still after 10 years, during that time of 10 years, that whole process, there has never been a talk of, oh my God, we need more black people. We need more Asians. We need more Hispanic people on this campaign. We need to do more as a brand. So I know they're gonna be haters. Like he should just like give them the benefit of doubt. I can do that. I can give them the route of change. Do I think they're gonna change? My my own bet is no, but I can definitely, I'll be here for them if they want to change. And if they want to, you know, encourage more and do more on their um, website and as a brand in general. But it's if it's taken a company 10 years to still not even figure out and realize how the hell they've messed up, then why am I going to support them? Like, mm -mm. if they want to do right, then maybe I'll invest. But until then, I'd rather go somewhere else. And I've been kind of like having my eye on this company for years now, but I just had no interest because, I mean, I will talk about this with my friends, like my close friends, because we have these kind of conversations. We like to talk about the real world instead of like talking about, oh my God, what's John Cena gonna be doing on WWE? Or oh my God, what's James Franco gonna wear to the next red carpet? You know, like we had those chats occasionally, but majority of them are about like the real world and how we could possibly change it. I'm gonna end this video off by talking about the lack of diversity at brandy melville because it's blatantly there like i don't need to sugarcoat anything i'm just gonna say how it is i've done sugarcoating i've done just trying to kiss companies asses like i'm just not like that anymore i'm older i'm 19. when i made my video about lack of diversity on youtube i was 18 and it isn't that much of a difference but i'm telling you once you grow up you get more wiser about stuff and you realize that you just don't care anymore like as long as you're staying true to yourself that's all that matters and that's what i emphasize a lot on my channel there is no diversity absolutely no diversity at brandy melville you can come for me you can try and check me and be like yes there is yes there is where is the proof where where hunty if i walked into brandy melville right now i kid you not they would give me the dirtiest stare they wouldn't accept me they would be like oh my god you're not size six you can't come with us if i literally wanted to work at brandy melville a lot of people online even people that i know were saying that when they tried to like work at brandy melville the managers don't even ask them questions like oh my god what qualifications do you have you don't need a qualification to work at this store which like is good for some people who've dropped out of school or who are just not into it or who didn't who didn't get good grades oh my god why are they screaming honey it's weird to me i think things are changing and i just haven't gotten used to it yet but like you don't need a qualification to work at brandy melville like I swear you do though. Working at Primark, working at Urban Outfitters, you do need a qualification, like you need a CV or something. 
Like, even if you fake it, you still need to put your qualifications down. So the fact that a lot of people online, as well as people I know, were saying that you don't need a qualification. They just ask you questions about, like, your Instagram. They find your Instagram. And then if they think you're pretty enough or good enough to represent the brand or to work at the store, then boom. And I know that if I walked in there, I wouldn't get the job. Like, I, I know I wouldn't. It doesn't matter how confident you feel in your own skin, as a black person specifically, I know I wouldn't get the job because, oh my God, I don't look European enough. I'm not tall. I'm not skinny. Bitch, wait. I'm just thinking what? I know I'm cute. That's the thing. Like I said, it doesn't matter how confident you feel in your own skin. They're going to just, like, degrade you and just be like, you thought, you thought you were going to get the job, but no. There is no diversity. Go on the website, there is no diversity. The only shade of diversity they have is if somebody has black hair. And even at that, that's completely rare because they seem to like brunettes and blondes. And I'm just like, it's cute, but like, what about the rest of us? I think we honestly need to use our brains. Do you know how disrespectful that is? One size fits all. So if a curvy girl goes into a store or a plus size girl goes into a store looking for a cute outfit to go out on a cute picnic, they ain't gonna find nothing in their size because you only care about the skinny, skinny, skinny girls. That's just not fair. Like, imagine doing that and thinking that you're gonna get my coins. Girl, no. I hear a bunch of stories online, specifically, of people saying that when they walk into stores, specifically Brandy Melville's store, people look at them like they're ugly, like, what's she wearing, gossiping, talking right in front of them. I'm thinking, what? What? Did I hear that right? Being inclusive to everyone and catered to every single size, what is the main harm in that? Do you think that black girls don't like this style of clothes? You're not the one to make up the rules. Don't think someone's race should determine what they like and what they don't like. These stereotypes is another thing that plays into why brands don't cater to dark-skinned women, um, Latina, Asian, like brown skin. Like these, there's so much stereotypes and prejudice that goes on to companies. And I think that this is really obvious. Again, this hasn't been spoken about enough. Again, you see it in comments and stuff, but people are really scared to just like use their platform. But I don't care. I don't give a I don't care anymore. You told me to make this video when I was 16. I'll be like, no. Honey, no. I care too much about reputation. I care too much about what people think. But now I'm 19. I'm just like, girl. That's pretty much it for today's video. If you have any more comments or questions for me, then ask them down below in the comment section. I just want you guys to go off in the comment section. Like, I never tell you to do this, but like, just rant and say how you feel because we often keep these kind of topics bottled up and we feel like you know what i don't want to come off as being like the angry black girl i don't want to come off as being like the one who's always begging for attention the one who's always doing the most but sometimes it just has to be that way and you shouldn't be too scared to say how you feel today's day and age there's so much crap going on in the world and i only urge you guys to speak up and say how you feel because your opinions do matter pretty much it for today's video i hope i pissed people off if i did that means i've done my job and yeah i'll see you guys in my next video